Hey guys, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. I am using my LA Girl Pro Concealer to go ahead and prime my eyes to get ready for all the shadows. And I'm going to take this base shadow brush from Sephora and my Sasha Buttercup powder to set it. And we're going to go in with these two colors and we're going to put it into our crease. And of course, we are going to blend. I know this says um, drugstore products. There are just, I think, one or two things that I use that aren't drugstore, such as that Sephora uh, base shadow brush, but for the most part, everything is drugstore or just inexpensive. Next, I'm going to take this blue gel liner from NYX and this angled brush from um, Eco Tools. I got it from Walmart. Really cheap set. I'm going to use this to cut my crease. Um, it's more like a half cut crease, not really a whole one, maybe like three quarters. <laughs> So after I finish putting it here, it, um, I took this flat brush and I took this blue right here with the shimmer in it and I just patted it on top. So right now I'm taking this the color teal, GLAS 3 and I'm putting this in the inner corner using a cream is awesome using the same angle brush. And I'm just going to finish cutting the crease into my inner corner. Now I'm going to take this green shimmer color from the same palette and I'm going to put it in my inner corner. Kind of overlapping it over the blue shimmer color just so that it helps to blend just a little bit more. Later on I will go back with some of the blue to blend it even more. Now I'm going to take this dark blue color and I'm going to put it in my outer corner. And I'm just going to blend it up and out into the green-ish, bluish color <laughs> in my crease. Now I'm going to go in with the NYX Studio Liquid Liner and uh, I can't remember the exact color but I will put it in the description box below and I'm just going to go around where I cut my crease at. Next I'm going to take this Crystal Liquid Liner also from NYX and I'm just going to go right over top of that just to give it a little bit of sparkle I guess. Now I'm going to take my LA Girl Orange Corrector and I'm going to get rid of these dark circles under my eyes. Also I'm going to put some around my mouth. I do have a lot of hyperpigmentation around my mouth. Now I'm going to take my Beauty Blender again and I'm just going to blend everything out. Next I'm going to go in with my NYX Total Control Drop Foundation in the color Deep Coral. And I'm just going to place this all over my face. And then I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend everything out. Next, I'm going in with my NYX HD concealer in the color Nutmeg. And I'm going to put this in my usual highlighting areas. Under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, around my mouth, and also my chin. I do love this concealer. It's literally one of the only concealers I've ever had that does not settle into my creases. So, thank you very, very much, NYX. Also, it's very full coverage, um, very buildable. So, if you don't have it, I definitely suggest trying it out. I start with my chin and then I work up around my mouth and I do my nose and my forehead. I save my eyes for last just so that um, it can be a bit more, it, can, it has time to set just a little bit more and it gives it a little bit more color. Learn this from Jackie O. Thank you girl. I'm just going to keep blending. 
Also, I do like to turn my, um, use the bed of my sponge that I used for my foundation just to go around the edges of my concealer to make sure that everything is blended. Next, I'm going to take this black opal foundation stick in the color black walnut and I'm going to contour my face. I'm going to use the butt of my beauty blender um, that I also use for my foundation just to blend it out. Next, I'm going to take my concealer again and I'm going to use this just to cut underneath my contour. It was a bit messy. And I'm going to take my beauty blender again, just blend everything out. I want everything to be seamless. Now I'm going to take this e.l.f. buffing brush, which is honestly one of my favorite brushes. And I'm just going to go around my entire face and just buff everything in. Like I said, you want everything to be seamless. And I'm going to take my beauty blender and just go underneath my eyes again, right before I set, using my Sasha Buttercup powder. I'm just going to set everywhere that I highlight it, underneath my eyes, bridge of my nose, forehead, chin, mouth. You guys know the drill. Also, I'm going to use this to set the concealer that I put under my contour. I'm sorry if you guys hear kids yelling in the background. My sister and my cousins are just going at it. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take this angle brush and my Ruby Kisses Mineral Powder, and I'm going to use this to set my contour. I'm also going to put this under my lip just to give that natural kind of pout look. Now I'm going to take my Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder in the color 185 to bronze up my face. And I'm taking this Real Techniques Buffing Brush now to just wipe away the excess powder and blend everything together. Now I'm taking this Brook Up Brush and my Elf Blush Palette in dark. And I used every color. Now I'm going to take my Matte Gold Deposit to highlight my face. Something really subtle. Since the eyes were a lot, we just want a, a light glow. Next, I'm going in with my Mario Badescu Rose Water and my MAC Fix Plus just to set everything in place and to give me a nice glow. Sorry for my book up mirror that's all in the way. I know it's been in the way the whole video. <laughs> but um, now I'm going to take this uh, dark brown liner that I got from just my local beauty supply store. I'm going to use this to line my lips. Next, I'm going to go in with the NYX Lip Lingerie in the color Beauty Mark, and I'm just going to put it all over. I wanted to go new since the eyes were so bold. Um, like I said before, I want all the attention to be on my eyes. And I almost forgot, but I'm going to take this smudge brush from Wet n Wild in the blue color from the Morphe palette and put that on my outer bottom lash line. And on the inner part, I'm going to take the green color and just make sure everything is blended together. And that's going to be all for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, but most importantly, share with your friends. See you guys next time.